for the winner by split decision, Rafael Dos You know what I like to always think, and what I hold as small little victories in my head? What's that? Is who would rather do it again? Which fighter is more willing to go back in for another five? Even though it might not be the winner that's willing to do that. Who's willing to face them again? Are well, you just like Rocky from Philly? Like, I'll do it again. Remember if I was there, there ain't gonna be a rematch? Yeah, yeah exactly. That's how it is everyone in fights too. And I feel like every fight, Everybody's like, nope, got past him. He's that guy. Same with Edson. You know that, Dan, right? Nobody wants to necessarily run back in there with him. Because even when you beat him, it sucks. Mm. You saw that knockout though. Oh, Lord. You saw that knockout. Oh, my God. Keep sleeping on my man. Oh, my God. What a knockout. What a knockout. Oh, I can't show this here. Woo. So and the board. Yeah, let's hear it. You know, this was the year that really changed my life. That's what I'm gonna look at. You know, uh, I've been grinding for a minute, you know, all the hard work, dedication, all the years. You know, it amounted up to this moment. You know, a lot of people, uh, they slept on me, and here I am. This dude, you know, he's, he, you know what I mean? He got 10 wins, 10 knockouts in the first round, you know? I mean, I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, like I said, man, I hope you all right and stuff like that, you know? This is this is a sport, you know? So I never want nobody to really get seriously hurt. But while I'm in there, you know, hey, it's, it's, it's really kill to be killed. But outside of it, you know, it, it's all love, you know? But uh, yeah, I hope you all right and everything, but like I said, you know, he uh, he a knockout artist himself, and I just knocked out a knockout artist. So, I mean, you know, shoot, I let my hands speak for themselves. After five rounds of mostly one-sided action, and despite one very controversial scorecard, Rafael Dos Anjos' return to lightweight after eight fights at welterweight was a successful one, after the former 155-pound champion bested short-notice main event replacement Paul Felder at the UFC's Apex facility in Las Vegas. Felder, who took the fight on five days' notice after original headliner Islam Makachev withdrew, struggled to match Dos Anjos' pace, and despite offering up respectable resistance throughout, it was clear that the scorecards would balance in the Brazilian's favor. Or so we thought. Two judges quite correctly scored the fight for Dos Anjos, 50-45, but another, Chris Lee, who has a history of being the dissenting voice in split decisions this year, awarded the fight to Felder by a score of 48-47. Despite the disparity, Dos Anjos was awarded the split decision win. Afterwards, Dos Anjos wasted little time in sending a challenge to another former lightweight champ. I think if Khabib Nurmagomedov is really retired, it will leave the division wide open Dos Anjos said. If you look to the contenders, I think only me and Conor McGregor, we are the only real champions in that division. Everybody else is all interim champions. I think if the division is open, me and Conor is the fight to make. Dos Anjos and McGregor were scheduled to meet several years ago, when RDA was that reigning lightweight champion, but he withdrew shortly before the fight, after complaining of a foot injury. The fight instead went to Nate Diaz. McGregor, though, was open to rescheduling the Dos Anjos fight, and responded to the Brazilian's callout on Twitter.